All right, hey guys. So today we're going to be talking about the potential update that is coming. At this point, I don't believe it's going to be dungeons. Like, there's been minimal talk about it since December. And I feel like if it was close, they'd be trying to hype up the player base. Be like, hey, look, it's finally coming. It's finally coming. And it's not really finally coming, it feels like. But anyway... Currently, we know from Mini Gloon, I don't remember how old the leak is. A lot of people have been talking about it lately. How it's just they plan on he plans on adding two more tiers of bosses, one between three and four, and then one after four. Which yes, it's needed, but adding those in means level eight rewards, level nine rewards, and level ten rewards need to be put in. Maybe in level eleven rewards. Because if it follows the same pattern, you're going to need to be getting like five times the XP you get for the current task. So that means everyone's leveling up five times faster. Which, yes, that's a good thing because, you know, people can get through their slayers quicker. Mobs have higher chance to drop as well. But there needs to be a reason to have this new stuff in. Like, if they don't add any re new rewards... Why does it matter if people are level 9, 10, 11? Because they can't make use of any new items that should be added in. Like, especially if they're adding a new tier, new drops are going to need to be added in. Like, I hope it's not just they just kind of slap in a new boss and then it's like, alright, there you go, have fun. Because it doesn't really add anything. Since we've already gotten an unfinished patch lately, which was the Season of the Trade, because it's really a part of the zone, that we can't even use for some reason. But anyway. This is why Dungeons, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be coming in January, which breaks my heart. Like, I've been really looking forward to a patch, been really hoping for something new for Skyblock to come out, and nothing's just being delivered, and it's just, I mean, that's really frustrating. Because all that feels is left currently for me to do, at least, is maybe level my minions but that's pointless and then leveling skills and most skills are boring like farming boring mining boring combat pretty boring but it's an important skill so you can look past it like these two these both skills are bad so it's just they're bad and boring uh, like every skill is boring nothing is fun to level fishing is kind of fun to level because of the you know rng factor but it's still boring Forging, super boring. But it's the second best skill level because it gives you a strength, which gives you damage, and damage is will always be, you know, an important stat. Right? And there's enchanting, doesn't do anything really either, unfortunately. Like minimal boost to a skill that does not matter. You're always really looking for boosting your damage to, you know, the utmost max you can. And we have the tools to, but the fact that it's literally locked behind two boring skills to level is just crazy. Like, I want to, like, draw towards RuneScape. You know, talk about RuneScape for a moment. If everyone knows about RuneScape, their skills go to level 99 for the most part, besides, like, one of them. And you can get there in, oh, like, a reasonable amount of gameplay. For Skyblock, though, mm, not really. It's like probably three or four. You can get like three or four of the same 99 by the time, probably even more than that, or you get level 50 in Skyblock. There's the two quickest ones, which you can knock out, which are Alchemy and Combat, but, you know, both of them are decently expensive if you want to level them up that quick and it takes a lot of xp like i definitely think the xp for 50 should be toned down considerably since i don't exactly know their what their goal is like what is the point of having all these really hard skills to level 50 when there's nothing really to Dude, there's no skill wrecks. There's no nothing in this game. Which, this game really needs skill requirements, by the way. Like, I 
exactly don't know why those are in and oh lol i just died that is a very funny meme anyway we really need skill racks or something so the game's at least slightly balanced since one of their previous changes which was the last patch with all the item changes was geared towards um you know changing the early game and one of the main ways to add an early game is in is have skill requirements I don't know why they haven't touched on that. They have it for fishing rods where you need certain skill levels to use the fishing rods. They just need to add it in for, you know, the armors and weapons and stuff. So there is at least some kind of progression level. Since without a progression level, people can literally hop on the game, just, you know, RMT, trade their way to top gear, and then they're like pretty well off besides not having the stats to do well. Instead of having them have the stats to do well, which then allows them to use the new good gear. And then they do even better with the gear because they already have the stats, you know, to match the gear level. So they're doing much better than they would just a new player saving up and picking up the new gear and not really having low stats. But that's kind of like a complaint for another day. I just want to see an update come. Even if it's not dungeons, I just want something to look forward to. Hopefully next week or the week after. Because every day, you know, I'm to blog on this game, it just feels depressing. Like, I do think about quitting because it just feels like it feels miserable to me, you know? Seeing nothing new after months and months and months. And when they finally make an update, it's nothing new. It's just some boring content for new players that at this point... They're probably not getting too many new players anymore because they're not adding anything new and exciting. They're just adding boring RNG content, which doesn't really cater to any anyone at all. It, it, it's just silly to me. But anyway, if you guys sat through this, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys later, probably on a stream or something. Take care, guys. Bye.